Good morning everybody. Little update on JC's bedroom before we crack on with the day. I've just said goodbye to Sarah and Isabel who have gone for lunch and a bit of shopping today. And uh, I've just primed all of the wood and the walls next to it as well just to make sure that it's all ready for painting later. Sarah and Isabel are picking up the paint that's gonna go on the paneling. And um, I think it's gonna look absolutely amazing when it's done. It's looking so good already. We've had a couple of very exciting deliveries outside today so I'm about to go outside and sort them all out and check through them all make sure that the, all the bits are there and whatnot and then I've got a very big job to do on the caravan. Good morning iFarm! Hope you're all having a lovely day today. I'm absolutely boiling. I'm not actually that bad to be honest. I know. It must be a pregnancy thing. I'm roasting. Uh, me and Isabel are going out for a nice lunch today, meeting up with a few friends and we're at Meadow Hall so we're gonna have something to eat. I kind of don't really want to go shopping just because it's just too hot but Chris has said, what's he said Isabel? He was like you need to get me Isabel, some new tops. Isabel sure make, make sure mum gets me some new tops so we might go to Primark for a few plain t-shirts because that's all dad wears right? Yeah. That's all he wears. And then I was just thinking with Isabel on the way here, is there anything that we need for like my changing bag or the baby? Yeah. Because I'm not going to be doing any more shopping or going to any more shopping centres, I don't think. Now, before the baby's born, she's due next week. So it's really, really warm and obviously difficult to walk around when you're nine months yeah. pregnant. The only thing we could think of was scratch mix. Something that I've not got. One of you guys very kindly sent me a pack of two. But I know how easy they are to like lose, 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 or yeah, we just need some scratch mitts. Not sure where I'd get scratch mitts from. Uh, what do you reckon? There might be a baby shop in there, you know. It might be like a. Might be a mamas and papas. Maybe. I found I found before that socks tend to stand my children's arms better than baby mitts, scratch mitts, because they're always so big and wide on their wrist, so they fall yeah. off really easily. Anyway, we've just got to Meadow Hall. We're about to go meet up with some friends, so we'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> The thing I'm most excited about arriving today is our caravan awning, which is very, very late, but it has finally arrived. This thing clips onto the awning that we've already got on the side of the van and creates this like this tent enclosure, which is amazing. So glad that that's arrived. I mean, I only ordered that back in March or before then. So it's taken a while. And then something very exciting has just arrived for Sarah as well that she is going to be buzzing about. So maybe you can guess what that is. Anyways, today I have a very, very big job indeed. When we were on this trip from Land's End to the top of Scotland, there was a couple of things about the modifications that I'd done to the van that I noticed needed to be rejigged, changed a little bit. And the caravan is going into uh, the manufacturers tomorrow to have the air conditioning unit replaced because that has never worked properly so it's getting fully replaced and have its yearly service and things like that done and before that happens I need to make sure that the bits on the roof like there's a couple of issues with two of the solar panels and I'm also going to change the location of the storage box as well we're going to do that today now because um, that needs to be done before it goes in to have its service done and have the air conditioning unit replaced and things like that. So it's kind of a little bit of a big job. I'm dreading it a little bit because the solar panels, them things are welded down with some serious, serious glue and I've got to remove it all and move them and recite them and mess about a lot with drilling stuff and whatnot today. So, but it's going to be good. It'll make the van a lot better in the long run. I'll just tell you what I'm going to do. I'll explain. I'll show you what I'm going to do up there. So the main thing that I want to change that I didn't realize when I did the build back at the old house was that the front solar panels here, I sighted them as close to the edge of the van as I could get them so that they wouldn't like affect the look of the van or affect the aerodynamics by sticking off the uh, side of the van. But because they're quite large panels, I didn't realize that I'd actually wedged them so close to this roof vent that we couldn't physically open the roof vent without some hefty pushing and shoving and probably damaging it as well. So the first thing that needs to be done is this panel. I've removed the one on the other side already. This panel and that panel are being removed. This panel is gonna go long ways up here instead and we're actually gonna just lose one of the panels because they're, they're way more than enough power with all five panels together 
together is way more than enough power than we ever need to charge the batteries. So we're gonna lose one of the panels. And also my my electrical, my waterproof electrical box um, took some serious deformation when we were on the road. Uh, all the heavy duty like wires that are pushing out of the waterproof holes and stuff kind of shifted and just it's just twisted and contorted in the, in the sun, I guess. I don't know. I don't really know what's happened to it, but it's, it's wrecked and uh, that needs replacing because that's probably no longer waterproof and it just looks an absolute eyesore. So we're gonna lose the panel, which is absolutely fine. Still more than enough solar panel to charge the batteries very, very fast in any sunlight or non-sunlight conditions. So we were just, I was just going all extra with the extra one. We don't actually need it. So getting rid of one of them because we are also in the process of sourcing a van to convert into like a van life van, like we talked about when we were away. And I'm just gonna transfer one of those solar panels onto that. So it's not gonna go to waste. It's gonna get stored until we start modifying a van and then it's gonna go onto the van. I was also contemplating moving the storage box today from where it is just up the van a little bit more. Um, and I was also contemplating possibly adding the second one, but I don't think I'm gonna do that now. I think I'm gonna probably leave the box where it is. Weight wise, it's absolutely fine. It's never, it's never like past where the like allowed weight load is or whatever on the back. It's This van can carry up to 50 kilograms of bikes right on the rear of it. So, and that has never ever been stacked anywhere near 50 kilograms even with the weight of the box itself. So um, it's never caused any weight issues or never felt like imbalanced or anything like that. And it was fantastic on this trip we've just been on for what we used it for, to store like, you know, the, the camping chairs and things, which is absolutely fantastic. I was thinking about moving it just further up the van. I still might do it, but I don't think I'm gonna do it before it goes into the garage, just because when I move it further up the van, it's gonna be right where the air conditioning unit is. So I'm probably gonna leave the boxes where they are today. The only reason I wanna move them up is just so that maybe we can just maybe heavier storage them, basically use, a, use them a bit more more storage when they'll be over the axles rather than towards the rear of the van. So just loading it might be a bit better if they're further up. So that's probably what I'm gonna do once the air conditioning unit's done and sorted. It's probably when I'll do that. The other box that we've still got that we bought, we bought a set of two of those is gonna be for the roof of the van. And we're probably gonna need to buy another one for as well for the roof of the van too, because I've got an incredible van conversion plan. So yeah, really excited, really excited for that. Anyway, let's crack on. I'm gonna move that other solar panel and see what it looks like then. So after a delicious dinner, oh my gosh, I feel like rolling out of the shopping center. So, <laughs> don't, don't laugh. So, so, so nice. We just popped into H&M quickly to see if they had any scratch mitts. And first shop, found some. Super cute. So, they're only £2.99, so I'm gonna get those. They also look quite stretchy on the top bit here, which is usually really big and baggy on their wrists. So hopefully these will be a good size. The only other shop we went to, guys, was Primark. Okay. And we were in and out of there within about 10 minutes because it was too hot. Just got down a few tops and we didn't film because it was boring. We just nothing walk cool. Yeah, we are just walking back to the car and I thought I'd get some of my eyebrow pencil thing in the Bobby do. It's browsing that I use by benefit. And the lady said to me, we don't have your shading, but we've got this new one in. Like multiple big, colours. Big one. So I was like, yeah, that'll do. Because I'm too hot. I need to sit down. <laughs> I'm getting back to the car. And then she said, do you need anything else? Because if you get buy one other thing, you get a free makeup bag, a mini mascara. Do you need like a wax and tint? And I was like, yeah, I need a wax and tint. Not had for about two years. And um, got a little baby coming soon. So that about that You're not pretty. So we're just, are ready? Yeah. So then for one. I'm all done. Okay. So I asked if she wanted hers doing. And she said she doesn't want a tin, which is no. fair enough because her eyebrows are quite dark anyway. But she's going to have a first wax. Are you nervous? No, I'm actually nervous. There's nothing to be nervous about. I just watched you do it and it didn't even look bad. No. Just like theirs. It's going to hurt. <laughs> be fine. I look so weird about my glasses. <laughs> you don't look weird. You're just not used to seeing yourself. Anyway, paperwork all done. She's about to get waxed. Does that feel like? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, new trend. New trend. <laughs> <gasps> this makes a big difference, doesn't it? That was such a good noise. Oh, wow. <laughs> you happy with that one? Yes, thank makes you. a big difference. It makes really it's big really difference. Nice. Still nice and natural, yeah. but happy with that one? Yeah. Perfect, let's match this one. Oh. So I'll let Isabel update you guys on her eyebrows when she gets home, but she's very happy with them. I've just called to B and Q on the way back home to pick up some paint for Jace's bedroom so I can finish it tomorrow. I think I'm gonna go with this. It's like a nice deep green. It's called Devonshire Green. There's way too many greens to choose from over there. I don't know if you guys can see, but this is the greens 
absolutely loads and before long when you look in all the colours they all just seem to blend into each other so I liked this one I picked it up first and I'm just gonna go for it okay okay big difference two solar panels at the front gone and now just a singular one wired up at the front new electrics box all secured and sorted out I'm very happy with that and then obviously just runs back into what was already there at the back with the three solar panels and the storage box all good to go that's going tomorrow brand new one's getting put in its place so fingers crossed no issues with that so guys i just got back home i've just realized how dark my eyebrows are right now she put some she put some um after the tint she put some what was it like fibers in and then used a pen a dark like a dark pencil to colour it in and put some extra products on and things. Anyway, I just walked it. Babe, the lights on in Isabel's in front of the car. Okay, I'll go in a minute. And Jace was telling me all about he bust his nose on the swing today. But Chris just I didn't, I didn't vlog about that last swing. Did you not vlog no. about that? Oh Jace just told me. Jace! Uh, you tell me what happened to you today. Look I'm at me. Sad. What darling? I'm sad in that. Is a sad aunt in there? Yeah. I don't think there is, darling. This is my makeup that I got myself today. Hey, can, yeah. you, can you tell me what happened today? What did you do? I'm not car. You did a? <laughs> Me did a. <laughs> what happened to your nose? Right, guys. He was basically pushing it and he hurt himself on it. But I just pulled up. Chris ran out and was like, you're home, hey! And I'm like, hey, he goes, guess what? And I was like, what? And he goes, my new Hoover's arrived. <laughs> and I've got it on charge. And it's gonna be ready in about an hour. Wow, <laughs> brilliant. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> I can't wait to go on your Hoover tonight. Can I go? <laughs> what are you saying? I'm making that with Hoover for. You wanna clean up with the red Hoover too? Jace, come and tell mummy what happened to your nose. Look, I know I'm not seesaw swing. You hit it on the seesaw swing and what happened? And then I say okay and then I got in the wiping. So they said it was okay and wiped him? Yeah. And did it make you feel all better again? Yeah, me go in swimming. You going swimming? Yeah, me go in swimming. <laughs> You're not? <laughs> <laughs> Call me, yeah. Also very excited to see this package has arrived for me today whilst we've been out. This is my new nursing chair for the baby's room. So excited to get that put up. I actually bought a pink one. Which wasn't my intention, but I saw it online and I was like, that is such a beautiful pink. It's like a dusky pink. Well, I say that. You know, sometimes on pictures, it's not really what the product looks like. So I'm a little bit nervous. Yeah, it's a dusky pink. But I hope it's a dusky pink, yeah. Um, what else came for me? <laughs> it's iPhone. Do you know, when I walked in, I thought, has he ordered a new phone? <laughs> it's not, guys. It's basically a silicone breast pump. Sarah's very excited about it. I'm not very excited about it. You about it's it one of the. Every time you're going on at night time, you've been buzzing about it. But you stopped talking about the syringe for crying out loud nobody wants to know that anyway these are really good when you're if you breastfeed and you have babies feeding on what you're not supposed to express milk with a pump before you get to six weeks um what is a cushion filler <laughs> it's just cushion fillers for jace's bedroom i've got some cushion covers so these ones you can just put on to your opposite boob that you're feeding from and milk just collects. So instead of it leaking into- You said the word, the B word. Oh. B word, breast. Oh, you said boob. Boob, booby. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, and the milk just, it doesn't do anything. It just collects and saves it instead of it going into yes, a breast pump. Uh, oh my gosh, a breast pad. Um, so yeah, I'm glad that's arrived. So everyone, we have just got back home after a lovely day shopping. Um, had so much fun. It was really nice just for me and mom to, you know, go out and have a little bit of time together. Um, but I've just got back and I was just, I, this, 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 this eyebrow thing that I got about 50 years ago. I've just spent the last 20 minutes, also excuse my messy thingy, 
I'm, I'm working on it, all right? I'll just put you there so you don't have to look at it. Honestly though, this brush took me 20 minutes to find. I was looking in all them boxes. I need to put them away. All the massive boxes over there. I was looking in this big tray trolley thing here. And where was it? Just in my desk, right where I was sat in the first place. I spent 20 minutes looking for it and it was right there. But yeah, I've just been brushing back through them. I've taken all my makeup off. Because the lady was so nice. After she'd done them, she'd put, I don't know if mum filmed this, but she um, she did like a pencil and she also filled it in with like um, a brush. She did like a mascara, but like for eyebrows. She gave me and mum a really cute take a brow um, makeup bag. And as well, she even gave us a mascara tester. I might actually test this and see if it's good. But she gave us a little mini um tester of a new mascara which they will be out soon i don't know if they're out now but um yeah this is, she was really really sweet the lady was very very nice it made me feel very comfortable because it was my first time doing it and i was a little bit nervous but i would totally suggest doing it there was another girl there who was probably around my age if you want to go do it then you should definitely do it and don't be nervous about it being painful because the thought of like a big wax and being ripped off is scary and you feel like you're gonna rip your whole skin off but they like put things on there so that it doesn't obviously do that but yeah totally if you feel like if you want to do it don't be nervous just go ahead and do it because right now i feel so refreshed i feel like i've just been reborn I'm not even joking but um yeah just a bit close up they're a little bit they're a little bit red not as much as before they were like bright red before i was like i got like burnt just there on my head but um they look so much cleaner and i just i'm just admiring them to be honest anyway i'm just doing some casual self-care i've just come back i wiped my makeup off i did i think that's right that is new hoover <laughs> Yes. <laughs> um, I just like wash my face and everything, put some nice products on to make my skin nice and smooth, and then yeah, I don't know why I took my makeup off because I'm gonna try this out now. But that's all I wanted to say, guys. Anyway, this is good night from me and Esme. Good night, guys. Good night. Who else loves strawberries? Mm -hmm.